Hey, what up everyone? I'm Senegal, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the weekly preview for November 16th, 2020, and the week of that. Uh, we have weekly event Look Alive ends in 6 days, 18 hours, 48 minutes. But first things first, everybody needs to pray for Hum Dingaling. <clears throat> hum Dingaling became a member, hit the join button the link in the description and became a sinner so now they need you to pray for them because they are a sinner so please please pray for hum -a -ling. and thank you so much hum -a -ling, for uh, hitting the join button and making me say that word three or four times in a row that was awesome and uh yeah if anybody else wants to join <clears throat> join button or the link in the description it helps a lot it helps a ton it's dollars instead of pennies we got 32 right now we have fun everybody comes to the live stream on saturday mostly and you can be a part of that if you want. So, join button, link in the description. Like hum -a -ling. It was awesome. Thank you so much. All right, let's get going. Look alive. New ultra rare true haunted guardian. Get this troop of glory from the rewards tab of the shop. Guild wars. Help your guild win the war. Some people are like, oh, dang it. The lost sword. Experience our new world event with your guild mates. And that's where I say, ah, oh, dang it. Play world event battles every day to unlock rewards. Ancient Sarcophagus. The campaign has started. New rewards every week. Don't miss out. And I don't, don't care. I like that. I mean, I like the competition nature of it. I don't. I was like, ah, oh, dang it, when I saw it. At first, this I I never like, and that I didn't like. I don't like either. So, it is what it is. Whatever. Week of Undead. All in Undead gain 10% of their skills. Week of Knights. Oh, Knights and Undead. That's weird. Week of Knights. All Knights gain 10% of their skills. Are there any Undead Knights? I guess there would be. Like that one right there. Bonus Glory. Use the Haunted Guardian in PvP to gain 5 Glory. Take my Tribute. PS4. Complain, complain. Degraded Performance, by the way. Servers are experiencing Degraded Performance. All right, so first thing we do is the Soul Forge. First thing we do is the Mythics. I have enough to... I'll definitely get there this week. I missed the Will of Initial last week, which is one that I needed. So the next one I need, I'm definitely getting. So maybe we'll have one I need this week, but at first glance, it looks like nope. But the Grey King is back. So it is definitely a new cycle because whenever he came through... Uh, was the end of a cycle, but also the beginning of a cycle, if you can believe that or not. I think we have a weird number of mythics right now to where one is left over, you know? So when that last one goes in the Soul Forge, three new ones go in at the same time, and that starts the new cycle. So that's why we're seeing the Grey King again, um, only like three or four weeks after we just saw him, because the cycle restarted. Every single mythic goes into the Soul Forge. They have their turn. It's based on RNG, though, when their turn pops up. So once every single mythic has been in the Soul Forge, then the cycle restarts, and they can be in there again. But once they're in, they can't be in again until every other mythic has been in there. So we won't see the Grey King again for a long time after this. So if you need the Grey King, now's the time. If you didn't get him last time and you're like, dang it, then here you go. Obsidious is in here, though, also, which I think is more important than the Grey King, but somebody would probably argue with me there. They're pretty close. But we'll put them in order here. We got Fallen Valdies and Mega Megavore. So, Fallen Valdies is definitely last. Megavore is definitely third. And these two are the ones that I would have to decide between, as far as, you know, what I would recommend. So... They're super close. I don't know. These two. Um, I'm going to have to just tie them for first. I use Obsidious more, but I've been starting to use the Grey King. People like the Grey King. They use him a lot. But a lot of people use Obsidious too. So if I had a gun to my head, I'd probably do Obsidious. Uh, 24, Red, Purple, Brown, Draxum, Daemon, Elemental. Deal 45 heavy splash damage to a random enemy. Destroy a 5x5 five five block. There's a 50% chance to deal 45 light splash damage to a random enemy. Remember, purple numbers are based on my stats, not, you know, yours will be different based on your stats. 
If you have higher stats than me, let me know. I don't have uh, Nisha medals on right now, probably. I don't know. So, never mind. Rocky Death. Summon a Dust Storm when an enemy dies. Stone Skin. Reduce damage from Skulls by 50%. And Earthquake. The most important thing about Obsidious is Earthquake. Stun all enemies on 4 or 5 gem, gem matches. So you stun every single enemy every time you match 4 or 5 gems. That's super strong. Stuff like summons. You know, anything that would be in a trait. Uh, the Grey King would definitely have to be either 1B or 2. So, 22, blue, brown, purple, Galvania, undead. Destroy all gems of a chosen color. All enemies of that color take 44 true damage. And our mana drain silenced and frozen. That's just, you know, that's awesome. And both of these, if I had it in the grand scheme of things, both of them are sniffing the top 10 as well. They're like top 15 mythics. So, both are good ones that you should get if you have the top 5 mythics already. What I have trouble with is from 5 to 10. I can't... I need to figure out what that is. Because eventually I'm going to do the top 10 mythics. So I'm going to have to. Like, I got the top 5 pretty much locked down in my head. It's that 5 to 10. And then that 10 to 15 that I really don't have a good order for. Um, Undead Shield, Allied Undead, Gain 2 Armor. Undying, Immune to Poison, Disease, and Death Mark. And King's Legion, All Undead Allies, Gain 2 Armor and Magic when matching 4 or more gems. So, you know, he he will um, destroy all gems of a chosen color. All enemies of that color take 44 true damage and are mana drain, silenced, and frozen. So if you're facing, like, a team in Guild Wars where they all use the same color and you choose that color, you're going to do tons of damage and mana drain, silence, and freeze everybody on the other side. So really powerful, but Obsidious, I don't know. I feel like the Grey King you can do without sometimes, but Obsidious, sometimes you just need Obsidi Obsidious, so... I'd probably do 1A, 1B, and then 3 right here. Number 3. 24 Red, Blue, Brown, Blackhawk, Merfolk, Monster. Eliminate all armor from all enemies. Deal 77 damage to an enemy. Submerge myself. You can use this with uh, Rowan and uh, Shield of Urskaya uh, to make it uh, hit faster and quicker. You'll eliminate all armor, and then Rowan can take care of the rest. Uh, gain 2 life on 4 or 5 gym matches, immune to all status effects, and death below, 8% chance to kill the last enemy on 4 or 5 gym matches. If you can get something crazy going on where you're getting 4 or 5 gym matches 3 or 4 times a turn, that can add up. Doesn't happen enough, though, to be important. But it is like a fun little trait that it has. Fallen Bounties definitely last. Do not craft this. 24, blue, brown, purple, unless it's the last one you need, like almost literally. Drakzum, undead mystic, deal 40 damage to all enemies. Pretty low. Explode 3 doom skulls boosted by divine enemies. What? And silence divine enemies. Okay. Uh, summon a dark storm when an enemy dies. Immune to poison, disease, and death mark. Disease a random enemy when matching purple gems. Oh yeah! disease baby all right what legendaries do we have because right now i'm probably putting obsidious on the thumbnail maybe the great king we just did him though so i'll probably do obsidious to be honest but is there a legendary worth doing eh, not really these are all like middle mid-range legendaries that you probably don't want to craft and it's going to be a difficult 50% mana to all rogue allies is what he is good at. Starflower. 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 Wow. Sakima. Oh, man. The one I like the most out of all these is probably the Great Maul. Um, if you don't have High King Iron Gut, you can actually use the Great Maul sometimes as, like, your, your tank. Um... And I've take I've I took the Great Maul like when I was almost I was like in high mid game. Like high mid game, low end game. I was using the Great Maul in the Tower of Doom and he was taking it was going all the way to floor twenty six. Um it's a good replacement for like High King Iron Gut sometimes. You can only cast it once though. I'm gonna say this is my favorite legendary here, but I would not craft it. 
24 brown yellow drifting sands monster devour an enemy create eight yellow and eight brown gems one cast only so that's the problem it's one cast only but if you're in if you're on floor 26 of tower of doom for example where the stats are super high you cast that once he's so he's beefed up a thousand hp a thousand armor a thousand attack you know what i'm saying not that much but whatever and then he's your tank too and now you can use other brown and yellow troops because he can't he won't block anymore because he can only be cast once um gain one attack when taking damage so does that as well gain two life on four or five gym matches that too hunger gain two to all skills on skull gym matches so if you don't have high king iron gut and somebody suggests it sometimes make your own team with the great maul put it in first slot for scaling content where you can devour something with a ton of stats and then now you have this super tank in first slot that's also doing this stuff over here uh maybe two would probably be captain mccall just because it has a 50 percent start uh 14 red blue blackhawks strix rogue deal 43 damage to an enemy if they are submerged kill them otherwise submerge them it's kind of weird but it has the 50 percent start for rogue allies uh, maybe Starflower. I don't know, though. Starflower, 15, Purple, Yellow, Pan's Veil, Wild Folk, Mystic. Deal 34 damage to all enemies boosted by ally, enemy, ally and enemy fey. Summon a random fey. There's a 20% chance to transform a random enemy and <laughs> What the heck? I don't know about this one. 50% chance to fairy fire a random enemy at the start of my turn. Sekba, 18, Red, Purple, Pride Lands, Raksha, Mystic. Transform blue gems to skulls and transform brown gems to yellow. Deal 36 damage to an enemy, boosted by all other allies' magic. I think that's better than the star flower. Gain two magic on red gem matches. Uh, so once again, probably the Great Maul. Then probably really Sekma. Then Captain McCall, then Star Flower. Something like that. The Great Maul. But you shouldn't craft it. Weapons. Cane Sword. Deal 44 damage to an enemy boosted by knight allies, then create a mix of 6 blue and red gems for each knight ally. The Edged Blade. Deal 44 damage to an enemy boosted by sword's edge allies, then create a mix of 6 blue and yellow gems for each sword's edge ally. These type of weapons are like when it's a weird event and it's super restricted and you have to use only sword's edge allies that are, you know, that have blue capes, you know? Um... Shield of the Edge. Remove all blue gems. Deal 37 damage to an enemy. Boosted by gems removed. The enemy is from Sword's Edge. Deal double damage. Well, since I don't need any of the Mythics this week, I'm probably going to craft that for sure. Um, let's see how close I am to Orb of Power while we're in here. Where is it at? Oh, right there. I need one more Orb of Ascension. Then I can get one more big one. Not very close. <laughs> I'm pretty close to a Nisha medal, though. I need, like, a couple tokens. I'm curious now. Sorry. I know this is probably already going to take way too long, but I got one Nisha token and two Nisha badges. So, two Nisha tokens away from another Nisha badge. Okay, so we did the Soul Forge. Now we need to do the Event Key Drop Table, which is Swords Edge Troops. Look at my gems, guys. I've never, I haven't been under a thousand gems in a long time. But I did the class event all the way. I got fourth place. And then I did the new faction, and those two things wrecked my gems. I was down to three hundred. Uh, so I need to open either more glory chests or, well, I got, I still got to get my mail from my guild and do all that. I don't do that till after this. Anyway, event key drop table of Swords Edge. So let's go see what kind of troops you can expect if you want to use event keys this week. Swords Edge. Pick that. Show all. And base rarity. Wow, I'm missing Champion of Guard, so I could throw mine. Um, I'm gonna wait till I get my Spoils of War and take my. get all my uh, uh, mail and all that, but I'm gonna try to get it, I guess. Probably won't happen, like I say. But Sir Quentin Hadley's in there, so not bad. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Okay, 
the event key drop table is and should you throw event keys that's what i'm talking about right now we have champion of anu it's okay you can use it on blue guild wars day sometimes but i'd recommend using king gob truffle instead these days but it used to be used in guild wars um it has a 60 percent spell uh damage from skulls reduces damage from skulls by 60 percent and all blue allies gain one to all stats at the start of each turn Silence, stun, and drain all mana from an enemy. Deal 40 damage to them and all enemies below them. Champion of Guard is super, like, defensive. And defense is not the name of the game. It's offense. Um, mostly Sir Quentin Hadley. If you don't have Sir Quentin Hadley, you might want to throw your event keys. Because he starts all nice at 50% mana. And you can pair him with Guard's avatar and do kind of a Rowan thing. In some events, like the last week's event, the the last week's world event, I think, or no, last week's faction, new faction, you could use you could use uh, guards avatar, but not Rowan. And when that is possible, you can start guards avatar and 50% mana with Sir Quentin Hadley, who's also not that bad. He converts purple gems to yellow and green gems to skulls, and deals 35 damage to two random enemies. So he's still okay on his own as well. He's not only used for his trait but mostly his trait so that's a this is actually a really good troop a really good legendary it's probably snuck into the top 20 top 25 legendaries these days it's a newer one so you might not have it so yeah if you don't have this maybe throw event keys especially if you don't have both of these mythics if you do not have both of these and you also need this then that's a really good week to throw event keys to try to get at least this and then you have a chance of a mythic as well um, anything else <clears throat> worth mentioning in here? Just Knight Coronet if you're super low in the game, I guess. Uh, Man at Arms is an okay bounty troop. But not really. Wolf Knight very early in the game. I mean, if you're throwing event keys, you probably already have stuff you, from early in the game. Um, there's probably like... You know, I think people use that with the armor, if they need armor sometimes. Uh, that's about it yeah Sir Quentin Hadley is the only thing really worth mentioning but it's a really good troop that you know does a 50% start to knights so what next the shop then we have to restart our game let's hope it doesn't screw up on us okay we're back and I need to get my spoils of war because I think I almost forgot last week and I got it on like Sunday so I need to get it right now um, 10 event keys. Really worth it. It's only 1,800 glory. If you got your uh, home kingdom set correctly uh, at White Helm, you should have that glory. Look at my glory up in the right-hand corner right now. 235,395. Uh, set your home kingdoms to White Helm. Glory is the most important thing you can get from any of the... Because it can transfer into anything else pretty much. Haunted Guardian is the new troop this week. Uh, 13 blue, purple, swords, edge, undead knight. Explode gems and a 3x3 cross. Gain 31 armor and barrier. Inflict frozen when doing skull damage. Immune to poison, disease, and death mark. Reduce damage from skulls by 25%. Not sure if it's good or not. I haven't used it yet, but uh, it's kind of interesting that it explodes gems and a 3x3 cross. It's kind of weird. Uh, and then it gains a barrier, and it has a 25%. It'd have to be an early game tank, I guess. Uh, Arcane Spirit Trade Stones, though. We got blue-purple. What is blue-purple? Can I think of anything that's blue-purple um, that you would need this trade stone for? Blue and purple. I don't know. Lazara? Which would be the Madness Storm? I'm trying to think blue-purple. What the heck is blue-purple? Purple would be... Blue would be... Hmm. I'm gonna see something, like, super obvious when I go look at it. But let's go check it out. Blue, purple. What can you use that trade stone for? Because you can buy as many as you want right now if you have the glory. If you have your uh, home kingdom set to white home like you're supposed to. Blue, purple, all colors. Oh, I should have reset. Clear filter. 
Hey, the clock is fixed, guys. It just quit quit going. I guess that only goes for like seven days. So I answered my own question. Uh, blue, purple, all colors, base rarity. And I always feel like I sound stupid when I'm saying mythics like. Because, you know, they use three different colors. They have, whatever, six different combinations of stones, probably, or whatever. So, when I say it could be this mythic, it's because mythics have three different colors. So, they could use blue-yellow and then yellow-purple, but not blue-purple. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like... They have, I don't know, do they always use it though? If they use some, I think they only use two different arcanes. So when I say that, you know, this troop could use blue and yellow and then yellow and purple, but not use blue and, and purple. But there's no way for me to tell unless I don't have them. Like this one here, I can tell. This one does use it, so death uses it. But you see what I mean? This one uses red, purple, which is weird. That's not, right? Oh no, that's not weird. It uses red, purple, and blue, purple, right? There's probably a way to tell. Somebody's going to tell me in the comments. But it doesn't use red, blue. So if we had a red, blue trade stone this week, and I said mythics like, then it wouldn't be true, because it's not red and blue. It doesn't use res red and blue. But you can't tell unless you don't have them traded. Like Falling Valdies, I don't have traded. It uses blue, purple, and purple, brown. Blue, purple, and purple, brown. But it does not use blue, brown. So maybe I can figure something out here. But can I? See, you can't. Once you get it, you can't click and see what it uses. So, mythics like, and I hate when I say that. And I listen back to my video, and I'm like, that's so stupid. But I have to do it. Ferris Ra. Shabana Vespera, the Grey King. Maybe it's like the top one they don't use. Let's see. Red and blue. Let's see if we can figure it out right now. Red, blue. Doesn't use red, blue. Blue, brown. Doesn't use blue, brown. So this might be the top two colors. Like if I had another one to test it on, though. Plague. Let's test it on plague. So if, if my theory is correct then this mythic will not use green blue green blue so it's not correct never mind I don't know but this is a really old mythic maybe they started it recently I don't know so it doesn't work my theory is not correct so mythics like now I gotta say that again Ferris Ra the Grey King Shabana Vespera nothing there really nothing there really but this one's really important necromaster so if this one uses that trait stone that I said blue purple then you could get necromaster uh, Zulgoth definitely um, the possessed king Ooh, unstable possession so the possessed king and um, Ferris Ra have been the most important so far if they use it but here's Lazara she does the Conjure Madness Storm if you want the Madness Storm. Scion. Steal enemy mana when dealing skull damage. Used to be good. Queen Mab. Freeze a random enemy in four or five gem matches. Azura. Uh, not that important. So is there any like legendaries that are super important? I guess the Madness Storm would be so far. This is important later in the game when you use Scylla with uh, Zul'Goth or... Deadly Waters create a Bone Storm of four or five gem matches. So I'd say uh, Lazara, Scylla, um, Malcandessa, start battles with full mana. Um, for this trait stone. Anybody else here that would be important? To have fully traded. Not really. So this isn't the greatest trade stone ever. But. If you need. Malcandessa to start with full mana. Or. Um. What was the other one? Scylla. If you want to start doing that. Crazy. Bone storm. 
or uh, Lazara, you need the Madness. So Lazara, Scylla, um, Malcandessa really are the ones you're going to definitely use this stone for, but also maybe Ferris Ra and the Possessed King, which are two really important traits, Unstable Possession and Necromaster. Alright, let's do the events. What do we got this week? Uh, today is Monday. We have the World Event and Guild Wars. You gotta do your defense, your Sentinels, but no battles today. So you wanna try to get as much of your campaign and your World Event done today as possible. Uh, then Tuesday we have the Faction Assault. Uh, let's go check that out. See if I have a team, early team for you. Faction Assault for... What is it, Lazara? No. What is it? I always forget. Is it Dark Pits? Uh, the skull with the green under it. It is Dark Pits. I feel like we just had this. Anyway, I'm level 480 on this, so I should have a team. King Gobtruffle. It can use green and brown, which is perfect for King Gobtruffle. So, King Gobtruffle or Queen Beatrix would be the recommendation. Um, green and brown. If you want, if you don't want to use King Gob Truffle, what else could you use? Uh, I'm making this video way too long. Hi, Hi King Iron Gut. Catchers the Bull. I feel like we just had Dark Pits. Hmm. <laughs> can use Tina, like a double Tina. In the beginning, at least. There's Vash Dagon to pair with, with, uh... See, I feel like we just had a, a, a kingdom just like this. We're Vash Dagon, uh, High King Iron Gut. You can use the two together. But you can't use, uh, the Mirage Queen, so you have to use Vash Dagon instead. Something like that. So I'd say either King Gobtruffle, Queen Beatrix, or High King Iron Gut, Vash Dagon. Be the way to go. Or Ketris, if you're, you're a Ketris person. As an early hey, here you go if you want to hurry up and get the faction done early Tuesday morning. And I haven't put out my video, my team's video on Tuesday, like always. Yet. Okay, so Wednesday we have uh, the pet rescue. Uh, use your key team, use your uh, uh, King Gobtruffle team, use your whatever. Phonesia is what I use. Stuff like that. Thursday we have a um, class event for night. Not a good class. Just get your free gems. Use your Dawnbringer. Or whatever you use. I'll, I'll might, I might do a video. I've been doing the class event lately, but when it's one really bad, like night, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but we'll see. Um, usually if it's a good class or all platforms line up is when I'm definitely going to do the class event. Uh, like last week was Slayer, and I needed Slayer, so that's why I did it. Uh, when it's a good class, I do it. When all platforms line up, I do it, but... I don't always do the class trial. Uh, as far as on video, I always do it. Uh, I always do it. I'm just saying as a video. Uh, then we have a uh, bounty this weekend. So world event all week, Cla uh, guild wars all week, and then bounty all weekend. So and plus your daily events that I just mentioned. It's crazy. It's busy. Bounty. We're getting that uh, dwarf, that zombie dwarf, that looks pretty cool. So that's what we got this week. Uh, what is next? Next we will sh do the world event and then the campaign and then we're done. So let's go to the... There is the, the lost sword this week. What's our medal? 160 skull and spell damage. So we could choose either one. Usually I like to do spell damage when I have the choice. Uh, let's collect this. Try to get us a medal. Token. Two tokens. So go to the shop probably going to spend the least I can on the Guild Wars this week, and maybe I won't get Paragon, but I need to get my gem stack back up, so I'm probably only going to do two Sentinels, which is the lowest you can do without spending gems. I just got to keep going until I get a medal here. That's what I do on Mondays, at least. Do I still not have a medal? Holy crap. Do I have to go all the way to four right now? Uh, 
let's see, I guess. Let's let's do the team suggestion. So we want spell damage most likely. You can use troops like. Wow, this is gonna be terrible. There is nothing here. Knights that are blue. So, wow. Wow. We might have to do skulls. Um. Jeez. Do we got anything good going on here? Champion of Anu? We might have to use a weapon or something. Does anything hit all enemies? Wow. Nothing so far. Jeez. This is gonna be whack. Luther. Wow. An enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy. This is crap. Jeez. This is crazy. Nothing. Wow, you guys. This is terrible. This is terrible. None of, nothing does damage to all enemies. Nothing. And there's really not a good skull spamming troop either. I, so far, Champion of Anu looks like the best to an enemy. Like, why would you want to just kill one enemy? An enemy. This is just a buffing troop. An enemy. An enemy. I might have to use a weapon. An enemy. And do you see any skulls, by the way? An enemy. An enemy. Buffing. An enemy. An enemy. An enemy. An enemy. An enemy. Buffing. Buffing itself. Converter. Buffing. Two enemies at least. First and last. Two enemies at least. So one of these. Maybe one of these two so far. Buffing. An enemy. Buffing. An enemy. Buffing. 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 Wow, guys. So these are the only two that actually hit more than one enemy. Along with uh, Champion of Anu. So what kind of weapons? Doomed Blade. Okay. So. It lets us use Dawnbringer. So I'm so sorry, guys. But you can use the Orb of Winter or something. Let me see if I can find a replacement for Dawnbringer. You know, today we just do the first thing that pops into my head. It's not like... Uh, you might be able to use uh, Writhing Staff. And get some Skulls as well. If you don't have... I wonder if there's Constructs. Rope Dart. Rage Reaver. Um, just use something that hits all enemies for today. If, if you don't have Dawnbringer. But that's what I'm going to use. Dawnbringer. You can or use Orb of Winter. That hits all enemies. Find something that freezes as well. But let's get started here. Before... This video is way too long. So now I'm just going to look for yellow troops that will help my Dawnbringer. Uh, that hopefully... Blue gems to yellow. Might as well, right? Um, This is getting rid of purple gems. This is... Random color to yellow. I really want to use something that's like blue. Are they all blue yellow? That's stupid. 30 damage... I want stuff that helps. Wow, nothing really helps. This guy converts blue gems to yellow. He does get rid of purple, which would kind of help. And this one kind of helps. Maybe something like this, but all these are the same colors, so that kind of stinks. But they all are anyway, except for Champion of Anu.
which is exactly the same as Dawnbringer. So, I mean, which one's the most important here? We should probably just do it based on the traits, then, if they're all gonna be crap. Like, maybe get rid of either the Sapphire Knight or the Clockwork Knight and do something with traits. All blue allies gain one to all stats at the start of each turn. That one starts battles with 50% mana. One magic for each blue ally, but really nothing. I guess we'd have to put champ. Let's put Champion of Anu instead of Clockwork Knight. Clockwork Knight gain a random gem color to yellow. That's not cool. At least we know with this one, blue gems to yellow, and it gives 45 armor to all allies. This one's gonna get rid of all the purple and do some damage. Uh, and this one's just here for its trait, Blessing of Anu. Banner, we need double yellow. Double yellow... What? Double yellow blue, minus red, no. Double yellow red, minus green, that's not bad. Yeah, let's just do that. And then class, blue storm or yellow storm. I think Slayer has a blue storm, so I'm gonna that's what I'm trying to level at the moment, but I'd recommend maybe doing Stormcaller if I were you. Um but Slayer I think has a blue storm. Or something that starts you with 50% mana would be great. Pick bonus red, all red, enraged, death mark. That might be funny. I don't care about this. One magic. Uh, Ice Storm, start a battle. Not using a scythe, okay. But I got my Ice Storm. That's all I really care about. And I'm leveling Slayer, which I need to level. So there you go. Dawnbringer, Sapphire Knight, Knight Coronet, Champion of Anu. Woo! Bring your teams, please put them in the comments in this video. And maybe I'll use your team tomorrow in the team video, where we do better teams. Uh, I have more time to think about it. Yeah, we only have two badges. That stinks. So I might go get another... I don't know. Let's just roll with it for t for now. Usually I want to get a medal at least. But... So you can do Skull if you want to. Like maybe Doomed Blade or Writhing Staff. But there's really no troops that are going to help you do that in this... But this should one shot for a, for a little bit at least. The Dawnbringer. If you don't have it, here's another example of when you would use it. And we still need to read the uh, the little lore. Don't let me forget. Um. Might as well. We got the extra skull damage. Might as well do it, I guess. Even though. Probably faster just to wait for Dawnbringer. If you find yourself only using the Dawnbringer and that's it for most of the time, then I'm just doing the lower level ones because I feel like the rarity is the only thing that matters usually. I should have read it first, but we're just showing the team real quick. This is just for the for today, even though you're going to try to get most of it done today. Um, I feel like I should just match colors because I'm only going to kill one troop. Let's just get that Dawnbringer up and kill everybody instead of killing one. For now, at least. Let's do this last one, Lady Morana. Lady Moron. What are we doing? Yellow, blue, red. Nothing. Nice. And when you don't have it, you don't have it, because... Hey, did it die of Deathmark? That's nice. That might help later on. Leveling my Slayer up. Anyway, that's, you know, you get the gist. Ooh, we got a Mythic. Might as well do it real fast. Taking blue, taking yellow, taking red, and watch that. Ooh, bang. Done. Cool. Alright, anyway, the Blade of Nefertani was the second piece of Duskbringer. 
That's a weapon that's coming in that's going to death mark all enemies. It's just like Dawnbringer, except for instead of barrier, doing barrier to your whole team, it does uh, death mark to the whole enemy team. It had been taken by a group of knights from Sword's Edge a long time ago, and those knights led by Lady Morana had been imprisoned in the underworld. We would need to descend into the crypts below Sword's Edge looking for clues to its whereabouts. Defeat creatures in the underworld and to collect their arm moments. Arm moments. Looking for any sign of the blade of Nefertani. Um. What else was I gonna do? Okay, that's it. You know, use your Dawnbringer if you can with all yellow troops. That would be my advice for today. If you don't have that, then the Orb of Winter or something that hits all enemies. Writhing Staff does uh, spell damage and skulls, which kind of is perfect for the uh, the metal. But let's look at the campaign and we're out of here. I feel like this is a very long video. <clears throat> don't do your adventure board. Don't do your dungeons until you look at the whole campaign. We have banner bearer. Win any battle using the sword's banner. Sword master. Use any battle with your hero using a sword weapon. And earn glory for any battle except for training. That some For some reason that only works in PvP it seems like. For me anyways. And what are you guys getting this week? I'm still fully free to play. Um, you're getting some tokens, or, or yeah, I guess tokens. We get a bunch, some deep, okay keys, not really, but Blade of Nefertani is what you're getting. Deal 43 damage to an enemy. If the enemy uses purple mana, then death mark them. And our artifact is going to add five armor, so not even that important for Guild Wars week. But better than nothing. But yeah, that's what I got this week uh, for the weekly preview. Guess we're, I think that's everything. But yeah, in the Soul Forge, you got the Grey King and Obsidious. Two worthy troops to craft. None of the legendaries are worthy. None of the weapons. But the Grey King or Obsidious. Um, the uh, event key drop table is... Uh, you know, Sir Quentin Hadley, basically, and hopefully you're hoping for a mythic, but mostly Sir Quentin Hadley. Um, the events this week, I showed you a team for the Faction Assault, if you want to get that started. I showed you a uh, world event team, if you want to get that started. You got Guild Wars all week. Remember to do your Sentinels and your Defense today. Get as much of the campaign and world event done today as you can. Don't do your Adventure Board or Dungeons until they pop up on the campaign tasks, because they might. Um, what else was going on? Yeah, choose your Dawnbringer, I would say, if you got it. If you don't, Orb of Winter, Writhing Staff, you'll find something that hits all enemies. You're going to have to use the weapon because all the troops are terrible. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Uh, tell your guild about the channel. Comment your teams below, and I'll shout you out if I use your team tomorrow. Uh, you just need to... Get your team in there like as soon as possible because I start working on the Tuesday video very early in the morning on Tuesday. So it needs to be today and I need to see it today. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild, comment below, consider joining, all that stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. Peace.